Hey guys, welcome to the VFX log where you get to ask me filmmaking and visual effects related questions and I will try my best to answer them. And in today's vlog I'm going to show you how to use motion sketch in Adobe After Effects. So what is motion sketch? It kind of works a little bit like the puppet pin tool when you're moving the pins around on the puppet. Um, if you're not quite sure what I mean, you check out my puppet tutorial, which you can go to just by clicking this link right here. Um, it works the same way. You basically click on an element and as you drag it around, the timeline in your composition plays through and After Effects automatically recalls all of those positions as individual keyframes. Then that's why it's called motion sketch. You're literally drawing the motion of an object in your composition. Now motion sketch obviously is really useful for animating elements moving around the screen without having to manually set all of those keyframes and it will look a lot more natural anyways just kind of following the movement that you're drawing with your mouse or with a stylus if you do have one. But one thing I actually like it for is for controlling all sorts of different effects. And the way I like to do this is I place a null object in my scene and I animate it with motion sketch to move up or down or maybe left or right. I can then link the position of the null object with an expression to an effect parameter to control it. So for example, you have the null object at the top of your scene and as you move it down, the screen gets more distorted or uh, the size of an element increases or you know you apply some color effect. And I can animate this null object using motion sketch, which gives me manual control over any effect parameter I want. One thing I recently used this for is to actually animate the eyes of the puppet closing in my puppet tutorial, which you can check out right here again. Just click on the link if you do want to check that out. Basically, I didn't want to animate my eyes closing you know, every couple of frames. It just kind of would have annoyed me to set that up for a 30 second animation. So basically, I linked the visibility of a closed image of the eyes, which sits on top of my normal eyes, on the position of a null object. So all I had to do is animate this null object every couple of seconds to kind of go down, go back up, wait a couple of seconds, go down, go back up. And so every time it passes a certain threshold, I close my eyes. And so that allows me to hand animate the closing of my eyes using motion sketch in Adobe After Effects. And you can use this for a myriad of different things. It's a really useful technique. I'm going to jump into After Effects and show you exactly how you can do it. What I have here is the composition I actually used for the beginning of my Puppet Tool tutorial. I've taken out the animated mouth, but as you can see, the eyes are animating. Let me quickly zoom in a little bit so you can see that a bit clearer. Um, so my eyes are just kind of opening and closing. Obviously, the way I've done this, this is simply an image of closed eyes sitting on top of my normal image. So I've got this layer here, eyes closed. And if I hide that, it looks like my eyes are open. If I show it, it looks like my eyes are closed. And then I've animated this layer to basically just kind of blink every couple of seconds. Now, you can animate this by hand, but given I was talking for about 45 seconds here, it kind of seemed a little bit too tedious. And so I used motion sketch to record some information into a null object and then use that null object to control the visibility of the eyes. And I think the best way to show you how motion sketch works and how you can use it to control effects in your composition is to take you through how I created this effect. So let's first create a new composition. So just click on the new composition icon. I'm going to call this tutorial. So I'm always very creative. Let's keep this at 1080p and 30 seconds seems fine for the duration. Just hit OK. So what you want to do is you want to drag the image of my cutout into your composition. You can download the image from our Puppet Tool tutorial. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to position this in the center of the screen and zoom in a little bit. The next thing I did is I have an image which is just my eyes that I showed you before. And so I've taken this and cut this out and I want to drag this into my composition on top of my cutout layer. Uh, let's put this to the side for now, zoom in a little bit. And what we want to do is we just want to position these eyes exactly on top of my open eyes. So that when we show and hide this layer, it kind of looks like I'm opening and closing my eyes. Obviously the eyes are way too bright, but we can fix this quite easily just by applying a curves effect. So apply the curves effect to the closed eyes, um, lower the brightness a little bit. I'm going to add a little bit more contrast to that as well. And maybe we'll drain a little bit of the red out. It seems a little bit too red. Yeah, that's actually not too bad. So now what I have is I can close my eyes just by showing or hiding this layer. Um, let's zoom all the way back out. Let me quickly show you how motion sketch works. Motion sketch basically lets you animate the position of a layer in your composition with your mouse. So over in the menu under window, you have a motion sketch tab. And if you show this, 
Um, it's kind of a bit small here on the right side. Let me make this a little bit bigger so you can see it. You got a tab for motion sketch. So what we can do is with motion sketch open, select the layer and you will see a new button appear which says start capture. If you now press start capture, your cursor turns into this little crosshair. And if you now click and drag, Adobe After Effects will start playing back your composition and it will record the movement that you do with your mouse. And can you see the outline of the layer? So let's kind of move this around a little bit left to right and you can see the timelines playing through. And when I let this go, and if you reveal the keyframes on the white cutout by pressing U on your keyboard, you can see there's a whole bunch of position keyframes created. And if you scrub through it, you will actually see me move around the way I moved my mouse before. So motion sketch essentially lets you draw the path of a layer in your composition in Adobe After Effects. Obviously you can use this just to animate things around quite easily, um, saves you a lot of time having to set keyframes, but I actually like to use it to control effects in my layer. For example, I want to control the visibility of the eyes closed. And the way I do this is I use a null object. So let me undo this first so that our layer is back where it was and make sure the eyes still fit properly on top of it. So what I want to do is I want to add a null object into my scene. So create a new null object. I'm going to call this eyes control. And I'm going to drag this off to the left side a little bit. And I'm going to reveal the position property. Now have a look on the Y position on the second coordinate here of the null object. As you move this down, the Y coordinate increases. What I want to do is I want to link the visibility of the eyes to this Y coordinate. I want to say that whenever this Y coordinate is above 500, which is about halfway through the screen, show this layer. So close my eyes. When this null object is above 500 pixels, I hide this layer and therefore I open my eyes. Because what this allows us to do, this allows me to animate this null object moving up and down with my cursor. And whenever this moves past the 500 pixels line, my eyes will get closed. The way you can link this up, make sure you can see the position on the null object and make sure you can see the opacity of the eyes closed layer. What you want to do is you want to add an expression to the opacity and for that you can alt click onto the stopwatch icon of the opacity property. This will open up the expression editor and you can clear whatever is in there. Take the pick whip icon on the left side and drag it onto the Y coordinate of the eyes control null object that we've created. Let go and it will insert that value or better a link to this Y position value into your expression. Next. We're going to use a ternary expression, which is kind of coding lingo for a short term if else expression. So basically what we want to say is we want to say if the Y coordinate of this null object is greater than 500, then put a question mark. We want to set the opacity of the eyes closed layer to 100. Otherwise, if the Y coordinate is less than 500 or equals to 500, actually, we want to set the opacity of the eyes closed layer to zero. I'm going to put this expression down in the description of this video as well. So if your screen is a little bit too small to see this, just check out what's in there. Click outside of the expression editor to apply it. And now what will happen if we move this null object, you will notice, have a look on the Y coordinate here. The moment that crosses 500, my eyes get closed. So I can basically control the visibility of my eyes by moving this null object. Now the reason that is great is because I can now use motion sketch on this null object to animate it without you know, manually having to set all my keyframes. And therefore I can control with my mouse cursor the visibility of my eyes and when I close my eyes. So what I can do is I can simply start motion capture, click and drag and every couple of seconds I'll just move this null object down below 500 pixels. Like every couple of seconds whenever I think my eyes should be blinking I'll move this down. And now here you can actually see the limitation of motion sketch and one of the things that I wish Adobe would fix is nothing is playing back. You can't actually see my eyes closing or opening because Adobe After Effects doesn't render anything else except the layer. Uh, well, actually just an outline of the layer that you are animating. So you can't actually see what is really going on. Now, if you scrub through, you will see the null object moves exactly like I animated it with motion sketch. And whenever the null object moves below 500 pixels, my eyes close. Every time it moves back up, my eyes go back open. So you can basically do this for about 45 seconds. And if you play this back, it kind of looks like I'm opening and closing my eyes. And the cool thing about this is that you can link this expression to any effect parameter that you wanted to. For example, let's animate me go angry and really red. So simply search for the tint effect and apply it to the layer. What you want to do is you want to set the map Y2 color to red and then set the amount of tint to absolutely nothing. Now what we can do is let's create a new null object for this because it's simple. Let's create a new null object. Let's call this color control, reveal the position property on it. And now on the white cutout, I want to go into the effects parameter for the tint effect and alt click onto the stopwatch icon for the amount to tint. 
So Alt click that. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to, within this expression editor, take the pick whip icon and drag it onto the Y position for my color control. You could also use the X position, it really doesn't matter. Let's use the Y position. Obviously, the Y position of the null object can go from zero at the very top down to 1080 at the very bottom. So what I want to do is obviously the tint amount only goes from zero to 100. So I want to probably divide this by about 10 so that the amount to tint will be set to a tenth of the Y coordinate of this color control null object. So if I let go, what I will have now is I have a color control null object that if I move it up, untints my layer. If I move it down, it tints me very red. So let's move this over to the right side. And once again, we can just use motion sketch to animate this null object as we want. And we can control when this effect kicks in very easily, very naturally. So let's start your capture, click and drag, and then simply move the null object down whenever you feel like, you know, getting angry and red. Obviously, as you may notice, you can't actually see the red effect kicking in when you want it to, which is really, really annoying. Um, so every time you see this null object move down, the image will go nice and red. And so this way, I love using motion sketch to control effect parameters by animating null objects, just because it makes it so much easier. Just imagine you had to set all of these keyframes by hand. It would take you absolutely forever. Even though it's not perfect, it has a ton of uses and I use it quite a lot actually for little things like this, for animating my eyes and just have some fun with it, play around and just try hooking it up to all sorts of different things. It will make your life a whole lot easier. And that's how I like to use motion sketch in Adobe After Effects. Obviously, we can use it to just animate things, but I really like the ability to control any effect parameter in my composition with the null object, which means I get hand animated control over anything I want in my composition, which really, really, really makes my life a lot easier. I really hope you enjoyed this vlog. If you have any comments, questions or suggestions, just leave them down in the section below and I will get around to answering them. Please remember to subscribe and hit that like button, share the video around, it really helps out a lot. And as always, you can also find and follow me on Facebook or Twitter. Until next time, I will see you later.